Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your energy forecast for today, Sunday, October the 20th, 2013. I'm still in Dallas having an amazing time. Last night we got to hear Katrina Wynn talk about sexual symbols and the tarot. Um, also yesterday, um, Mary, Mary Kay Greer spoke about intuitive, interactive um, readings. Uh, Marcus Katz talked about, and probably got the, the biggest thrill out of this, the kind of traditional Rider Waite deck, um, and oh my goodness, um, Smith of the Rider Waite Smith deck. Um, she, where she lived, a six month period in 1909, um, they've actually gone to in England and found like the bridges and the castles and the houses, and it was just mesmerizing um, to see that that deck come to life. Um, that's always how I feel about uh, Cyril Marchetti's deck, like I said, The Divine Terror, because there was a book that came with it, and I remember just feeling, this deck is real, this deck is alive, this alternative universe is a real place. Each element is its own kind of city or country or state. So it just always has had so much more meaning for me and connection, and that's probably why with the Rider Waite Smith, um, I have that same kind of a connection as well, because it, it really was some real stuff going on. So today is the number 20. That's the judgment card. Um, that card will often be about being released from the things that are holding you back, um, unstuck, freed from the grave, things that are kind of keeping you tied down. You're coming so close to the end of the fool's journey, so it's kind of like, ah, here's my prize. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Because the next card is the world, which is kind of like you've crossed the finish line and you've done it. So should be a feeling of accomplishment and freedom today. Also, you boil that down to number two, and that's our high priest is very intuitive woman, um, very powerful woman, um, uh, just great, and doesn't have to be a woman, but it's, it's a woman on most of the decks, uh, just very, very intuitive, knows the law, um, knows right and wrong, kind of a feeling, so I like that. But also, all the numbers, 10, 20, 20, 13, is going to give you number nine, the hermit, one of my favorite cards, so... Once again, we're finding the hermit popping up, kind of getting deep in the earth, kind of secluding yourself, looking inward just a little bit and finding out, you know, what's going on inside of you. So that's a little bit of the energy for today. And as I was getting ready here in my hotel room, you can see the same backdrop. You'll get it one more day. I'm here tonight. Um, uh, I, where, ugh, can you hear me stuttering? It's like I'm thinking we're going out again tonight. I'm here one more day. Um, but you'll get that one more day. But as I was getting ready, I felt like a crisp crackling and popping in the air. So it definitely feels like a good day. When I was shuffling my deck before I came on, before I set my intention for you and the, the healing, the guidance, the confirmation that you would receive just by watching this video, um, I set the intention for me to be just a clear channel for spirit to work through. And sometimes just, just sitting in front of the screen, you're going to get the, the vibration because it's not about me, but it's about what spirit works through me. Um, my job is just to be a high vibrational, clear channel. But it felt crisp and clear. And I tell you, I did, the, the tower card kept popping up as I shuffled, and the five of swords. So those cards, a lot of moving, a lot of changing. The tower card is like tilling up the garden and replanting it. It can often be that shake and bake and rumble and crumble and destruction kind of a feel. Five of swords for me is always so much mental chatter, um, so much of that when you're just up in your head and you're having conversations with people that you need to go have a crucial conversation with and you're already experiencing the feeling and the anguish before you even get there. So release some of that today. Use that powerful energy. Um, I like the image of tilling of the garden because that is taking that energy of completely revamping clean slate, but it has a positive feel to the end of it in the sense of you're going to plant seeds, grow something beautiful from there fruitful, harvestful, abundant. So pulling, um, it is three card Sunday. I'm going to pull the three cards, but I'm going to go through them very rapidly. So card number one, eight of cups, my second favorite card after the hermit because it gets that same feel. Card number two, four of wands. And card number three, uh, ten of cups. Wow, just so, so very peaceful. So I'm just going to zoom in since I don't have this. So as you can see, this is eight in cups. Number eight, very spiritual number. It's infinity upright. As you can see, this man has eight legs underneath the water. He's heading towards the moon. Moon, I resonate with quite a bit. Um, the Pisces sign, I resonate. Um, but also, it's just kind of like you're on a journey. Um, it feels so peaceful for me. A lot of people see this as a little bit more upsetting um, than that. So, four of wands. Um, wands are fiery, um, the fire element, and uh, imagination, creativity, sexual drive. But this card is often about like marriage and great home because of four corners of the house, the point. 
And I love how inside here, it's very protected. Outside, it's very dark and fl flaming. Excuse me. I haven't even eaten yet. And then finally, the Ten of Cups. Such a beautiful card that Sarah has given us. This dog and cat in front of the fireplace. You know, fat and happy, satisfied, joyful. Cups are emotional matters of the heart. Number 10, bringing things kind of back around to a number one, starting over again. So looking at this card, you know, it really echoes a lot about the home and the family. So, and what Spirit is telling me is, you know, really take time today and the image I'm getting is like you're just sitting in your living room and you're looking around where all the activities happen, all the family encounters, um, especially as we're coming into holidays because a lot of you will have family into the house. Look around and set a beautiful and peaceful intention because in those same spaces of peace and comfort and joyous moments, you have screaming and yelling and divorces and upset natures and, and betrayals. So set the intention for that space to be one of high vibration. Once again, coming back to you know, if you're if you're thinking and pondering on the loss and the lack of, you know, you're in a lower, denser vibration vibrational place. Moments of gratitude and joy. Put on some crazy fun music and dance around. That immediately raises your vibration. And if you constantly walk through your home and your house, you know, with uh, an attitude of gratitude and joy and peace and high vibration, then it's going to continue to uphold that. And even people who walk through your home. You know, that most gruff, you know, negative Nancy family member walking through the house is going to, you know, somehow feel the higher vibration. So you have a job. This is where we light workers are just holding up the entire earth and planet in a higher vibration. Um, I Every time I come back to, you know, where I am in my life and my, my career, I, you know, this is one of my careers and then I have a corporate day job. You know, I know it's all right right now and I know that even though I'm walking through this um, place and the people I'm touching, I'm still holding them up in a higher vibration just by walking through existing, keeping myself high. Not that I'm anything special, that, but my intention is to keep it high and the vibration high and those that come in contact with me in any way, shape or form will feel that same high vibration. And once again, not because of me, but just through me that I'm allowing the energy to come through. Just like a spigot on a faucet, I'm allowing the water to come through. I'm just that spigot and the pipeline. That's all. As long as I stay clear, we're good to go. So you guys have an amazing day. I'm going to say it. Namaste to you bitches. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.